CFS job numbers, and salesman ID. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add a job number and a salesman ID to your estimate. Adding a job number to each estimate can be a great way of tracking jobs created in CFS. And adding a salesman ID to the job number can help you track who created the estimate. First, let's go make sure that job numbering is turned on in your master file. Go to your Utilities tab and open Update Master File. You'll be prompted for your code word. Then open the Settings tab and click Modify System Settings. Open the Reports tab and make sure that the Turn on Job Number for Estimates box is checked. Here you can change the label that shows up on your estimates and the starting number for future jobs. Just to demonstrate, I'll change quotation to job number and the starting number from 0 to 2000. Now I'll quickly generate my estimate. In order to generate a job number, you need to enter customer information and have materials listed in the estimate. If you can't generate a job number, be sure to check on those two things. At this point, I'm happy with my estimate and I'm ready to generate my job number. I'll go to the Sales Info tab and click Generate. You can see that number 2001 has been generated for this job. And when I create a Doc Forge contract, the job number is automatically displayed at the top. Job numbers do not automatically print on traditional contracts, but you can add the number to the contract notes or job information area. Now let's say that I wanted to add a salesman ID to my quotation number. I'll open my estimate again, and back on the Sales Info tab, I'll open Edit Status slash Salesman. The first tab, Job Status, is where you can customize your job status options, which will be reviewed in a different tutorial. Click on the Salesman tab instead. On this tab, you'll notice that I don't have any Salesman IDs created. I'll click Add New, and a window will appear where I can add my salesman's name and their corresponding ID for the quotation number. I'll click Save, and this salesman ID is now available for future use. It's too late to add a salesman ID to this estimate. Once a job number has been generated, it can't be altered or regenerated. So, make sure it's correct before you click Generate. To test out my new salesman ID, I'll open another estimate. I'll go to my Sales Info tab, and you can see that this estimate hasn't had a job number generated. First, I'll select the salesman ID that I want listed with the job number. You have to pick the salesman before you generate the number if you want it added to your job number. Joe Smith has been selected. Here is his ID number, and now I'll click Generate. The job number has been generated with Joe Smith's ID. And when I create a Doc Forge contract, this will automatically be printed at the top of the page. When you save a job in CFS, the job number and salesman ID will automatically be saved on the Sales Info tab and can easily be reviewed later on. This information is also added to the job name when you save a file and can be analyzed through Data Miner to help you strengthen your business. 